One for the clown. One for every member of Hot Wet Soup here. This could fit perfectly in between the shoulder blades of a few of my, uh, my YouTube mates. Why can't everyone just sit back with a bit of garlic bread and Coca-Cola? I should really just be sitting back and minding my own business, but it's not what we do on my channel. And if you're subscribed, then you probably are subscribed because you like it, I'd hope. Because I was really like stressing out over this video. I haven't scripted it or anything because I just wanted to kind of talk off the top of my head and just see what you guys thought about it. And obviously, because the title is going to bring in 100 million views, it's the Leafy is here, hey, watch your mouth, every other YouTuber on the fucking planet video. Now, it may not look that deep. It may just look like, oh, a few YouTubers have complained recently about Leafy is here. But it's not a few, is it? It's quite a lot. But a few YouTubers complained with stuff that we didn't know, actual personal one-on-ones with Leafy that they've had. And that's the problem I have, right? Like, I was always saying, someone like Leafy, I could probably be alright with him. I'm not a big fan of his content. I don't think it's really shit. Like, for some reason, I do slightly find it kind of something I could watch. I, I, I do, I do. I, I was subscribed six, seven months ago. But it's the behind-the-scenes stuff that irks me. Now, recently, I am lucky enough to be in a place where I've been able to make friends with a lot of really cool fucking talented people and I feel like Leafy did the exact same but because of his sub count he's kind of used that to just steal from people and it is stealing I don't care if you offer a bloke $20 I don't care if you promise a guy a shout out it's stealing compared to what you could be doing for people but the thing is that I feel like people don't take in to account is the fact that Leafy actually isn't self-aware enough to realize that he's fucked up. He generally, from the post he made, doesn't seem to kind of understand that he is fucking people over. And yes, they have gone and stabbed him in the back with one of the many knives. I mean, I've got a pair of scissors left. It's not quite the same. Two-pronged attack. Yeah, a bunch of small YouTubers have gone, gone and done it. And the real question people were asking was, should they have backstabbed him? Now, I personally believe that Hey Watch Your Mouth was 110% justified with his video. The grounds that Leafy offered him were fucked for what he could be offering and just basically seemed like he was trying to get away with it because he knew that Nick were either friends, so you do mates rates, so, you know, Nick, you'll do this for less because we're best mates. But the fact that what he would do is he would try and manipulate his friends into making exposed videos for him because he was too scared to take the backlash himself and he promised to retweet. Ah, uh, it's scummy. And Nick pointed out that he would go running to people. And he has. But there is one problem that I really wanted to highlight and it's not what you think because I guess I went fucking mental on Twitter. I was like, he's a cunt. It shouldn't be trusted. Bad bloke. And I can stick by most of those, those now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back on my word, like I generally do believe. He's not the greatest guy. But that's because that's what he showed me. I'm not friends with Leafy. I know people who I personally know are friends with Leafy and you'll probably have a totally different opinion on him. I hope you would if you're that close with him. Because what I would have done first is I would have complained personally. It doesn't seem like really anybody has personally really pushed that on him. Because I think the problem is that people knew that he was using them. People knew that he was manipulating them. And he was manipulating them to get what he wanted. But the fact is, the sub count hangs over people's heads. And that is not an insult to my friends who may have had that happen to them. Or may have gone, oh, I'll give him another chance because of his sub count. Because if you have, you don't have to admit it. And it's not really a surprise. And if you're going to complain in the comments, you got to understand that Leafy mixes with very small people and he does that on purpose, I think. If he doesn't do it on purpose, then um, well, you're lucky. Because mixing with the small people, people like me, if some big bloke came and was like, Alex, mate, edit my videos, I probably would be willing to take like half a paycheck, a quarter of a paycheck, purely because of the fact that I would feel like the opportunity would be too good to pass up, right? So, as much as I will say, I do believe people should have gone at him way earlier. And I have seen this shit on Twitter before. This is not the first time I've seen Leafy not crediting people, miscrediting people. He fucks, it links up all the time. But the fact is, right, that what Leafy 
didn't have is a group of people were willing to stand up to him because they were probably scared to lose that friendship because it's key man having friendships in the community is key but it's also going to lead to this fake backstabbing thing and it's a real problem nick wasn't fake by backstabbing leafy he really wasn't he has done so much work for the bloke that when i saw this video come out i was actually fucking shocked i personally thought hey watch your mouth and leafy is here were best fucking mates. I saw Nick do so much work for his channel that that was the reason I thought that Nick didn't actually upload too much to his own because he was spending so much time working on Leafy's channel that I thought maybe his own channel's like a part-time job and Leafy's a full-time job. But I couldn't have been so wrong. And that makes my blood boil as a creator because I would never like to feel like a friend of mine was taking advantage of me. And one of the things I've noticed Recently, over the last month, after the switch I made from the content I was making to the content I'm making now, that the people who you meet in the commentary community are cutthroat. And my friend has made this association. He comes in my Discord rarely, but he's told me, he's like, I don't understand how you survive in here. Everybody seems to be willing to cut ties Snake, and he couldn't be more right. It's really hard to find good friends, and I'm trying to still suss out who mine are. I have a good idea. If I still talk to you, and I talk to you on a regular basis, and I want to join calls with you, it's probably because I actually think that you're good people. Because I've been in too many calls, and I've heard too many things, and I've had so many people message me, and this isn't just with, like, the people at the top, but the people all around, who just snake each other and sell each other down the river whenever they can. And that's why I do feel like, obviously, Leafy deserves the flack he's been given. But if you have the chance to Skype the bloke, you know, a guy who really is just very lucky to be in the position he's in, probably has no fucking clue what he's doing, in honesty. His videos say that. Talk to the bloke first. Tell him how he's fucking up. That is all I would want people to do for me, right? If you said, Alex, I fucking hate your trending topic videos, more bad bandwagons, will be more than happy to, to, to support that. I'd be like, yeah, mate, I agree. Uh, maybe, maybe not. No, I like the, this shit. It's, I do like it, but I would be more willing to be like, oh, okay, that's cool. But if you made an exposed video on me tomorrow going, hi, uh, I'm friends with Alex, but um, he's been a bit of a knobhead recently, and uh, he's just jumping on trends for views. Um, fuck him. I'd be, I'd feel hurt, and I reckon Leafy probably generally believed that Nick and him were best mates. As much as he fucking shouldn't, because he scammed the fuck out of him. But I generally believe that Leafy believes the people he's been messaging are really good mates of his. No matter what they say. Because the problem is, I have a feeling that his side of the story will be all my best mates are backstabbing me. Because it's like the Keem situation, which is a bit ironic. Keem generally didn't actually do much wrong. And then he gets backstabbed by friends of his and i'm guessing leafy is now king star oh it's come full circle but to sum it up briefly to put it into a small thing to tighten it up basically if you have the option to talk to this bloke you tell him first then you make your exposed videos i've been encouraging people to make exposed videos who have had the option to do that who have been in calls with leafy and i've said do you know what if you have something to say you tell him because he needs to learn that not crediting these people, that people put all this work into his videos, is completely fucked. And he needs to learn that paying them $20 and then raising it to 50 when he makes 10 grand, and I don't care how much you say that doesn't make a difference, right? How he doesn't deserve a percentage. He knows he's going to make a lot of money off that video, right? He could spare more than 50 for that amount of work. People should get a flat rate for the amount of hours they're putting in and how good the content is. Generally, just makes sense. But if he is not willing to actually fix that still after it's happened multiple times but you are also not willing to talk to him in private then there's a problem and that's where the backstabbing comes in but with nick's situation i feel like he gets a pass he gets a pass because he brought it to attention and this was the only way he was going to get anything changed i'm glad that nick made this video if you are friends with him then please talk to him first. Will you go and make a video on them? And not just say, hey, might make a video on you because you've done some shady shit. You fucking tell them straight up. And if they don't say, oh, I apologise and I'll fix it. And you don't give them enough time to fix it. Then you make the video. Because videos force actions. Videos force change. I've seen many people change because of certain videos that have been made on them. To the point where they're almost non-recognisable now. Prime example, Keemstar. The bloke is like 
a hundred percent different to what it was six months back. Whether that's good or bad, that's up for debate. Uh, I've forgiven him for the majority of his stuff at this point. That's where all the dislikes going to come from. Because what Leafy did was fucked, and what Leafy has done again is fucked, and it seems like the whole situation has just kind of swiveled onto the head of Leafy's here. So there's my opinions on it. There's my video on it. I know it's not fucking funny. It's not hilarious. There's no hello for one of my likes. There's none of that. It's just me talking about a situation that I saw, which is generally kind of annoyed me because he fucked loads of people over and people who I would like to call friends, right? But I also do believe you should try and talk to him in private first before you get and say anything. So there you go. But yeah, make you expose videos on him. I encourage it, honestly. Uh, he's fucked around a lot and he probably deserves it. Taste of his own medicine. If you're willing to expose other people, but you're not willing to receive it back, then you're a hypocrite. You know, I make these videos. It would be a surprise to me if somebody made one on me and made every right to. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. I understand it wasn't very comedic, funny, jokey, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to kind of let loose and just do one of these. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. And I know it's a bit of a long video and it drags on a bit like it is now. But I felt like it was needed. I felt like there needed to be a little bit more of a balance. I believe Leafy is a complete cunt. I believe that what he's done is fucking ridiculous, and what he's done to my friends is a, I've taken a piss. So there we go. Just make sure your friends are good. Really? This would all have been avoided if people were lucky enough to know who their good friends were, and it's something that kind of fucking scares me about making commentaries. You can't really trust anyone anymore. Uh, I'm not even take that taking a piss like i'm probably just gonna disappear a bit from discords and just stay in group calls with people are 100 percent trust so thanks to my good friends i'm sure you guys know who you are and thanks to everybody who supported the channel huge shout outs to detection simon doink me silly torge blue bobby lucas you guys are bloody legends thank you so much for supporting the patreon guys i'm gonna actually be working on a bad bandwagon now i'm gonna be trying to get that sorted i've got some pretty cool people in it already and like i haven't even sent out like half the messages to the people want to get involved in it because on a more positive note we're coming up to 10k soon and the good friends are the reason that's happening so very very big thank you to you guys um peace out people have a good day i love you a lot and uh, see you soon.